Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much. You're welcome back to the Teju Baby Fest show. As you know, we bring the kings to the show. This is, in my mind's eye, the king of romance. Now, I might be biased, and I am biased, which doesn't take anything away from the fact that he is actually the king of romance. But you should know that I have an added reason for saying it. Uh, I humbly put to you that the song he's about to give to you now, the song he's about to render, the song he's about to perform, he did first, or one of the first places he did it was at our wedding. Thank you very much. The son, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The son has gone on to be a huge blockbuster. He's taking the song all over the world. You know him. He needs, like Richard Mufedamijo, not a lot of introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me onto the Tejibay Face Show. Amazingly, for the first time, as close as we are, for the first time, please welcome the one, the only, Mr. Timmy Dakolo. <laughs> Hello, ladies and 
gentlemen. Tell me that color. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay tuned for more because the Teju Baby Face Show will be back after these messages. Oshé, ski brobo, ski bo, ski brobo, ski boy, you bow, she bad. It's your boy, Liu Cash, aka Mr. Miyagi. And right about now, you guys are watching the Teju Baby Face Show. Keep watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're welcome back to the Tajube Fair Show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still here, Mr. Timmy Dakolo, please. please. As I said, he's, he's, he's a great guy. He, he performed at our wedding some, uh, almost four years ago now. That was the first time I was hearing that song. My wife, in case you don't know, she's, um, uh, it doesn't translate well when you say, my wife is, my wife is a strong person. My wife doesn't, she doesn't do all those girl things. Hey, but you made her cry ah. at our wedding day. And it's about the only time I've seen sorry. her cry since. Thank, thank God. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, may sorry. she not cry. But please help me thank Timmy Dakolo for doing that for us uh, at our wedding uh, ceremony. I'll probably show you a few seconds right about now, uh, that video. It's like a dream that starts brand new. Girl, I'm so amazed at all the things you do. <laughs> yes, I want to be with my whole world around you. So I promise you forever and for always. Girl, you are my sunshine, baby, don't you go away. I want me, all all of me, or me, I love you. I will love you forever. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Now, I was hoping you would get your wife to come on this interview. What happened? She, she's busy. I was, I was, I was hoping. I was hoping. I was, I was hoping. I was hoping. I, 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 I had some things planned for you. Uh, it's like you saw my mind. God reveals. God reveals. You, you dodge. But I'm curious, cause you, you're proud of your wife. He puts his wife is on my BB. He puts his wife up on social media a lot. Tell me, is that love or it is deflection? <laughs> Trying to tell the other girls that uh, there is somebody there. Is it, what is it? Is it love or deflection? It's both. Oh. It's both. It's both. <laughs> ah, okay. Love and deflection. <laughs> yes. Ah, that's nice. I love her and stay your side. And stay your side. This is what I have. I, I get the impression a whole lot of times that if one is married to somebody as beautiful as yourself, uh, it sort of tells the girls who may be thinking and aspiring that see her in wife, fine. What, what can I do? Let me just forget. What more do I want? What, what more can he be looking for? Let me just one. But I'm curious. Your wife is beautiful. Uh, you're supposed to clap for that. I mean. <laughs> but you must have married her because she's also a person of good character. Yes. And as an entertainer, I know how difficult that was for me to find when I wanted to get married. Mm. If they were fine, then they lacked the required character. Mm. If they had the character, then they lacked a certain kind of, a, you know, uh, pulchritude, as a uh, pastor would say, how hard was it for you to find a woman that was that beautiful? So beautiful, in fact, that she's in quite a number of your videos. She's in quite a number of your videos. As a matter of fact, your wife could be a video person. How hard was you to find somebody uh, who was that beautiful, both on the inside and the outside? I would not say it was hard. I would just say it's the gift of, it's something that you, you don't work for. To find a complete person, to find another human being that completes you, for you to find that is a gift. It's, it, it doesn't come every day. People might, be, people might have certain things that, it, I think it, the, the word is the ability to, for someone else to complete you. Mm -hmm. It's like just filling the this, this space that is empty in your life. And when I, the first time she came to my house, was I, in my, my house, I, in my mind, my house was the house. Like I had it all figured out. Then the first day she came, I went somewhere. When I came back, she has changed everything in the house. Mm. Like, I had cotton. That cotton was my. I loved the cotton because it was blue. She says, nobody in this world has blue cotton. <laughs> <laughs> like, nobody keeps blue cotton. Nobody keeps their clothes close, close to the fridge, like, like that. She has changed everything. I was not asking, where's the sorry, shirt? Sorry. Where were you staying? Your clothes were close to the fridge. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I was how? living on Niru. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are your clothes close I was, to your I was living fridge? on Niru. 
my, 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 my wardrobe was, the fridge was there, like this, this small fridge. There's another one in the kitchen. There's this one I, okay. I keep my own. Okay, your own something. Uh, then I came back, she had removed everything that I felt was my stuff. She had changed the thing. I was not looking for my t shirt I was not, it, it was actually finer than, you know, you don't see things. The way somebody, you know, that person where they're outside, they see where they go crown for draft. Sorry, so let me say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear you? No, when you play draft, now the man will stay outside the sea. Where you, where you supposed to play? <laughs> to go crab. And all that. So I, I, no, I thought I had the perfect house. I, I liked when I was lying down and my television was closed. When I would lie down and see my television, but the television was close to the window. Nobody, she, all those kind of reasons. And I said, close, we're close to the like fridge. Yeah, was, was close to the uh -huh. window. Okay. But you no, know, to me, that was the house, man. That, after that house, man, that's, the, that's my best design. Okay. But after. <laughs> She now, she now explained the foolishness of, of my wisdom in okay. doing all those things. So I said, this one will be like... It's weird you should mention that. I, I think that was when I knew I was going to marry my wife as well. She explained that. In fact, I, had, I hadn't quite put it ever the way you have put it now mm. as the foolishness of my wisdom. <laughs> my wife schooled me over the phone one evening, and that was when I decided I was going to marry this girl. Ah. No, you will know. After, when certain things happen, and you just know that, ah, people like this don't come every day. She's not that, let's go and watch a movie, let's do this every day, every day person. The first question she asked me when we started talking, I was listening to her, I was, what's your plan? You know, when, when somebody asks you, what's your plan? Even if you have plans, eh, everything just cleans out. <laughs> like, you know, I, was, I was chilling in the house, like, just in the, what's your, from nowhere, what's your plan? I just sit up. Uh, so what do uh, uh, we talk? What do we talk? bad while I talk little nah, this matter now? Plan. Uh. And we started talking like that, so. But you know that you were held up as a model couple for me by a man of God. Uh, you know Pastor Femi Paul? Yeah. When I was about to, uh, when I was trying to get married, I didn't even, uh, you know, uh, propose to my wife and all that. When I was trying to decide how to go about it, he said he saw you at the airport with your wife and you had a child then. And he came back to tell me, literally, let me translate. He said, tell you, if you see Timmy Dakolo in wife and they are picking, to marry go hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That, 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 that's what he said to me. And now you have how many children now? I have multitude, three. You have three? How did I get here? I don't even know. Yeah, how did you get here? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, should, you, should, you, should, you, should, you should ask yourself that. But uh, still on this matter of the girls, I, I was with you somewhere in a university mm. where I was to be, I was to speak on stage, and after you came, I saw how the girls reacted to you when you performed. And you must get that a lot. I get, I get that a lot. So how do you manage that? Uh, how, how do you... I, I hug mean, and run away fast. Yeah, I said that again. You hug. I hug and run away. Really? Like, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> not the eye they see, they cry blood. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. I said, not the eye they see, they cry blood. Explain. No matter how you cry. No how. My mama could say, my grandma could say, nah, she could say, she never hear say, the person get heartbreak. The heart can't break literally for that you die. <laughs> You go see bath chop. <laughs> but, but it's... <laughs> but look, I, I know you're a Christian. Yeah. I know you're a Christian, and, and let's not fool ourselves. It, it, sometimes it gets difficult. Sometimes you see what this Instagram will cost. Sometimes I go on Instagram. I, I'm trying now not to go to the landing page. There's one page where you go to and you see many pictures of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying not to go there. The search, the search area. Yes. Sometimes you see... I've seen it. I, I've gone to a wedding before, and I saw one girl. And for like a week after that, I didn't get myself. Sometimes you see somebody who is so fine, and your heart almost just stops. And a person fine like this, I mean, how? I mean, it can be difficult sometimes. What do you do when you get to those times? Stay out of trouble. The point is, see, what I do as, you, as, as a man, I don't think there's no temptation that is not common to man. But you don't, you don't try to test yourself. I don't think anybody is that strong. What I do most times to stay out of trouble is sit in my house. See, if you sit in your house, there's no how you are in your house. The there's person no, must there's be, no how they will bring it. No, it, there's no how. The person <laughs> will knock your door, open your door. It's from, it's from, it's from, let's go and see a movie, let's have a drink. You become fond of certain people. Because they say, if you want something to die, you stop communicating with it. Mm, say that again. They didn't hear. Otherwise, they would have clapped. <laughs> say that again. If, if you want... If, if... If you, in your life, in every sphere of life, if you want something to die naturally, you just give it space and don't talk to the thing, don't communicate, don't, 
it would be hard to stop thinking about a certain thing for a person. But after a while, it, it diminishes. It diminishes. Even if it's friendship, because life is not that hard. People, people are, sometimes people are in your life for a certain period of time. After that, after they have lived their usefulness. If you keep forcing friendship, you, you die. You didn't hear what they said. Do what you, no, 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 clap. You, you, you had a reaction, I'll do it again. I, I had, I had that one, do it again. Yeah, uh, now, now when you talk, touch, do it again. Mm. Mm. Oh, continue. Is it true? Mm. I have it's, friends it's, that mm. I grew up in Portacot with. But, but now we don't reason like on that same level again. It's not, it's not, a, it's not pride something. The, the truth is, someone said it this way, that eagles have no business with chickens. <laughs> it's not that they're not enemies. They're not enemies. At a point in your life, you see that it's somebody is taking so much from you. They're taking more than they're giving you. It's time to stop and move on. Yes. I feel that if you're the smartest person amongst your pair, it's time to move on. Hmm. If you are the smartest person yes, amongst your amongst group your of friends. Pair, every time you are the smartest, you are the one bringing out the contribution. You dry up. Okay. You okay. have to learn. Well, life is a give and take. All right. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, final question. I've gone above my time. Mm -hmm. I, I want to ask you this. I, I saw you receive an award recently. In fact, I saw you receive several awards recently. Two questions come out of that. Uh, when you were coming out, initially, I'm thinking you're a gospel artist. Mm. That's how you're coming out. And I see you recently at this award ceremony. You got three or four? Three. Three, fantastic. And so you're there. I mean, you have been able to, it seems that you have been able to manage a particular kind of uh, feat that is rather uncommon. You are obvious, when you see him, you get the impression that he's a good guy, right? That it plays across that he's a Christian boy. Even if they don't tell you, you sort of get the impression. Yeah, you know, no naked girls in your videos. Is his wife in the videos. So you get that impression. And yet here you are winning awards in what we will call secular. Did you do this by omission or commission? How do I mean? Was there a plan that you followed or somehow God just arranged you, Shah, and you met yourself here? Yeah. Someone told me something once upon a time that if you have a dream, that if you have a dream and everybody else can be wrong, do you know that in this same industry, people told me, Timmy, hunger will kill you. This is your Let It Shine song you're doing. This is your song you think. This is not the kind of song that sells in Nigeria. People gave me that serious advice. But what I did it was, I'm a very stubborn person, you know. I don't think that, I don't feel in life that God will give you a passion that you can fail at. Mm. Mm. So mm. this was the only thing uh, I know. Uh, 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 am I the only one who is hearing these things? Uh, the man is dropping words. Uh -uh. You, if you have a passion, whether it's to paint a picture, whether it's to paint a wall, it's either to change somebody's decoration. I don't, I don't think it, God is that confused to give you that passion, then you are just there, it's causing you so much problem. So what I did was, when I started doing this, this was the only way I knew how to do music. I would sit down, I would try to express myself in the best way I can. And I see music more than just rhythm and, and, and lyrics. It's like a spirit. That's why you can stand up and dance to music you don't understand what they're saying. It somehow collides with your soul. And you're there going, oh, you're going. If somebody asks you me, hear all the who? Mm, <laughs> mm, mm, you didn't hear. You didn't touch them. So I started, I, what I did was, when I started it, I, what, when, when I started music, when I even won idols, the only thing I knew was go to practice, write tenor parts and sing it. That was all I knew. But when I discovered, when I wanted to do music for what it is, I carried almost all the money I had to go and study music. You actually but, studied music? Yes, a, I studied songwriting. You, st you, studied, you studied songwriting? Yes. Where does one study songwriting? Yeah, I, I went to a school called Beckley. I did it online because I, I'm still going to be the one paying my school fees and all that. See, so you cannot... At the point in time in this life where you feel you know a thing, you stop knowing it. You can't add anything to what you know. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> if, I say, if I say I know how to jog, there are a lot of ways to jog a football. Once I begin, I begin to tell myself that I know that thing. I can't add anything to that thing. So I, I went and I said, okay, I don't know this. I don't know anything. I want to learn. So I started learning. People were telling me, ah, Timmy, every time they carry the book, they walk out. Leave this thing, right? Go, go studio, kill the beat. No, I don't want to kill the beat. I want to, I want to, I want, I want, as I'm here now, I want, as I've decided to do music, I want to do music a long time when I'm old and gray. I, it's, it's not for now. It's not just because of now. Because at some point in time, I'm, I'm not going to be jumping around. I'm not going to be shouting that much. I want to sit down on the piano and have, 
I can call people for a call. I say, this is my concert is going to be me, my piano, and your ears. You see, you see, let, let, me, let me look. When I tell you, when, when we speak to you of how all things work for good and the universe comes around and God aligns you, sometimes it seems as if we're just speaking. When we took our hiatus on Teju Bay Face Show and I told you that I've been away uh, trying to figure out my calling to young people and that the fruit is that I wrote a book, The Secrets of the Streets for succeeding in the entertainment industry and anyway, I mean, I, I did not know at that time that the core of my show would bring people like this. I mean, I didn't even know that Timmy was this deep and here we are speaking about this. This is absolutely amazing, uh, amazing, amazing. Which now leads to the B part. I told you that question was in two parts. In the final part, you, every time I see somebody who has the word, who speaks to me, uh, you know, we go a bit over our time. Can, can I do one or two more minutes uh, with him? Yeah, you, when you were receiving these awards of which I spoke at that award ceremony, you said, I think at the third time when you came up, that there was a teacher that you had or somebody who was supposed to be giving you instruction as a young person who said to you that you weren't going to make it. He said you should stop singing. It's, it's the music director in the church I was going to. He said my voice was very distinct. That his suggestion that I go and join the drama department, that when everybody's singing, that he just hears my own ten or one place or the other, like far, far away. You know, people can give you good advice, like in their own way, like, oh, you can't do this thing. No. But there's there's word I've carved out for myself. It's called rugged determination. You cannot tell me no. If I want something from you, you cannot tell me no. I will call, keep coming. I will call, I will check up on you. I would. That's but that's why I wanted to be because the only thing I do effortlessly is the music. I don't think that's why I'm, again I can just wake up and I'm saying, look at this over. This is why I stand. You understand? It comes effortlessly. So I don't think it's that confusing to know your calling. It's not that conf confusing. It's not that confusing. So, and one thing I want I tell youth is the biggest lie we tell ourselves is that there's no time. That is the biggest lie I told myself for a long time. You know why? Because if I say, if everybody that is under the sound of my voice, like you have a passion, if you add one knowledge a day, I'm not saying too many things. In one year, you have added 365 new knowledge about your craft. You know, you know it's that, but, we, but we sit down and tell ourselves. We sit down and tell ourselves there's no time. Yet we think. Yet we're still in a WhatsApp group. Yet we go and check who's DP. In that there's no time. Oh. We still watch Telemonde. <laughs> in the year, there's no time. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Timmy Dakolo. <laughs> absolutely amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. I I am loath to I am loath to let you go. My, my director said in my ears that you are obviously a brilliant chap. I, I had a friend, uh, Ladi Alakwin, if he's watching this, who said to me about seven years. When was your first album? Six, seven years ago? Yeah, like seven years ago. Seven years ago. He said to me that, and Ladi is very eclectic. Ladi is not your usual. Ladi said to me that, have you bought Timmy Dakolo's album that he's had that song in his car for weeks and he doesn't remove it and he's on repeat? That he's wondering why this boy is not bigger than this, that this country we are living in has problem. That if I listen to that album, that that is music and that this boy is doing, that I should buy the album. Did you at some point in your career feel like that? I know I said I wasn't going to ask. See, well, I'm doing it again. And when I said, I'm doing it, and I, and I said, she I said I was signing out. Yeah. You are already clapping, and I'm asking questions. I promise you, this is the last one. This is, it's the last one. It's just, God just gives it like that. Did you feel at any point in your career when you were doing I know you mentioned something like that, but when you were doing the doing, were there days when people would ask you that question? So what are you doing now, Timmy? What are you doing? Did you feel at some point that, man, will I not start listening to them? All those nights, did you feel like I'm in the wrong place? Yes, in the wrong yes. Place? You know, a repetition of thing lays emphasis. If somebody keeps saying a particular thing to you, when I won Idols, like I said, I didn't know anything about music. In my house, you cannot even come and the suggestion that you want to do music, they might just kill you because you have to return all these fees. It's not a kind of a place where you're going to be talking of, like, I want to be a musician. No. You would, you would say it from another state. <laughs> okay, you go to try. And they will come and look for <laughs> you. You, you go from Lagos to yeah. your state. Or you're even near like Zamfara. Oh, or you're near Zamfara. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had, because I did not know music, I, I was stranded. And because I felt like, okay, when I, after winning I do, there was something that was going to happen to me. I was going to sign to Sony and get And it didn't big. happen. It didn't happen. And, it, and, and it, this, look, this is important. Sometimes that happens in entertainment. You do something big 
And you think it is going to happen. I, I know this because I did a movie once. Fantastic movie. I came out and I thought my life would change. And that's it all. just does not happen. Yeah. So I, that's why I, went, I wanted to be, I, had this, I have this gift of, because I grew up in a house where they said the only way out of this, your poverty, is to read book. So I, I know how to get information when I want them. I read things out. When I read them, we sit down to discuss. You think I've known them since. I just have to find information where I need them and all that. So I started to read how do, one of the greatest things I ever read in my life was how hit songs were made. That's a book? Yes, it's, a, it's an article written by a lady that writes songs. She said how hit songs, the creative process of how songs lasted longer than other songs. So I started to read, I, got, I, I, I always walk around with pencil. I mark things, I mark things, I go back and mimic them. Like one of the greatest words that have helped me in this music industry is a quote that somebody says, the objective is to create an experience in the minds and hearts of your listeners. You don't finish. <laughs> Timmy, come there, go. Bring his friend, bring his friend, bring his friend. If not, they are standing up for you, it's amazing. They are standing up for you, I mean, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing. Please sit. Thank you very much. Uh, we hardly ever get people stand up for our performers. You're, you're, you're deep. Somebody somewhere is proud of you as they are watching this thing. I mean, I mean. Uh, somebody somewhere is proud of you. <laughs> I, I have to stop this now, otherwise. Because as they talk, more questions they come. So I have to stop this now. Okay. Uh, one of the things, one of the hallmarks of our show, uh, as you know, as you know, is that uh, when you're on set, um, we have the picture taken. Not even when you're performing. This picture was taken when you were elucidating and extrapolating, when you were saying all these things. That was when this picture was taken. That's so fine. Uh, yeah, when Nama bring her first, I say. So. Fresh boy. <laughs> but our friends at Lagos in Your Face. Lagos in Your Face is your online portal for all things social, lagosinyourface.com. And this was taken by them. If the camera can zoom in, I always want them to zoom so that they see what the picture is. So you won't think we're boboing you. Ah. If we put it later, you will think we went and put it later. It was literally taken now. This is Timmy sitting on this set. You don't get Amro to me. Have you gotten it? All right, so Timmy, this is from Lagos in your face to you. Thank you very much for coming. Fine boy, fine boy. <laughs> and, and it comes with a bag too. It hey, comes with a bag. Thank, thank you very thank much. Thank you much, thank you much. All right, uh, I think they are bringing some, something for you. Oh, yes, 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 we are going to do that. Okay, thank you, thank you. Well, all, all this is going to show on air as she brought it. Uh, you know, uh, it's amazing. We're going to do a classic moment now. Uh, the lady that brought what she brought now, amazing, I wasn't intending to do this. In fact, we're going to cut this part out and she's opening her mouth. But you see, this is one of the classic moments on the Teddy Bear Show. Uh, the lady who brought this thing uh, came to fill in for our, our makeup artist in our first season, during our first season in 2010. One day our makeup artist could not come. And so this lady came to fill in to do makeup. And on that episode that I will show you after this, I asked for something to be brought on set, and she brought it. And I saw her, and I said, Omolomwe, this is a girl. I'm not joking. And this is 2016, six years later, season six. She's my wife, Toby. That, that's my wife. Put your hands together. Bad guy. I'm a bad guy, I think. <laughs> bad guys, bad you guys. See well, you see I well. see well, I see well, I see well. All right, so, uh, Toby, what's the name of the beat person? Huh? Jun Dunia I mean, this is heavy. This is heavy. Uh, they have said that we should give this to your wife, that you should help us give this to your wife from Dunia Olinleke. There we go. Uh, please put your hands together for her. That's, that's, uh, no, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Uh, sit down. Uh, yeah. More meat. Yeah, we, we have more for you. Uh, my friends at All Socks oh have said that uh, as you have come, we should give you a pair of socks, Jesus. all socks, uh, so, I mean, I wear the socks on the show. This is made in Nigeria. They even wrote my name there, the King of Talk. They wrote, can you see it? King of Talk is there. Uh, all Sweet. socks, made in Nigeria. A Nigerian guy that I met, uh, Shola, I think is his name. Uh, I just met him, all socks. They've said we should give you this pair of socks. I think you like socks as well. Oh, very yes, much. Yes, I keep so. Oh, my Please God. Please put your hands together for all socks. And uh, then we're not done. 
we're not on uh, this one that you say you have a battalion at home now. Our friends at uh, Molfix Diapers have said we should give you a month's supply of baby diapers. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. For more, because the Tell You Baby Face Show will be back after these messages.